I have a physics test in about an hour that I should absolutely be studying for. But instead, I'm playing video games. Because I am a true gamer. Oh boy, would this be a whole heck of a lot easier with the power that we get later. Let's just call it that. Um, also, how the heck do I get back? <laughs> this is a conundrum. I think I might be able to get to this wall. Alright, that helps things a little bit. Still not overly helpful, but you know, whatever. Let's just not get clipped by any lasers. That would be dumb and bad. What, where am I, actually? Oh yeah, we're going up instead of somewhere else. Intriguing! Anyway, we're going... Okay, that was honestly kind of close. Cutting it a little bit close. Not overly, I'm still fine, but you know. I would have much, I, I honestly would have rather have just known beforehand that um, this is something that I didn't really have to do. The whole um, going elsewhere bit. I think I'll just wait till they pass again because this is the cross portion. And I'd much rather not have to deal with all that jazz. The, I'm, I honestly died a lot on that part for how easy it actually was, so watch big laser coming, or not. I figured there would be a big laser that just kind of shot up that crevasse as I tried to climb up it. Because why wouldn't that happen? Oh yay, one of these areas again. <laughs> it's going to be this kind of episode. Anyway, whatever. Bruh, hey sign, tell me what to do before I get chased out of here. Oh boy. Hey, Gumo, my man! Sup, boy? These ruins are all that is left of the Gumon, reminding us of their fate. Losing the ones that he loved, Gumo is the last of his kind. For the bell and the memories of the Gumon, let us restore the element of wind. But of course! Heck yeah! You're welcome, Gumo. I know you wanted us to do this. Very nice, technological sounding stuff. Moved by their words, he decided to act. Oh wow, thanks, Gumo. You're a G. Right? That's a G thing to do? No, yeah, Guma's a freaking... He's a great guy. He's a GG. Anyway. Oi, hey, GG! Now we're going upward and outwards, which I probably definitely shouldn't have used my second jump. I want to say that I... No, I can't actually bounce off those. Bruh, I can't believe I can't use my burst. Okay, so... Ow, yes, that is actually something that I'm not allowed to do. And let me use my feather, please. I'm not trying to get stuck on a wall here. Alright. Is there anything up here? Oh, yeah, death. Death is up there. Just making sure, you know, you never you never really know until you do, until you die. Just because that's kind of how it, it works occasionally. I'm really thinking that it might actually be quicker to just go up the wall. Um, but probably not on second thought. And I still kind of have to dodge stuff. God, this is a fun portion of the game. These portions of Ori are uh, likely my least favorite, but they're still important, so I'll take it, you know. I'll take it, whatever. Oh, wonderful, I can't even soul link. Let's- oh, no, I didn't even get to dash in the air. Dude, not cool. Not cool, I didn't get to dash in the air. Not gamer. Okay, fine, it's a little gamer. 
I can understand why they would do that. But I also want it to dash in the air, because it's it's an extremely gamer thing to do. Alright, now I can climb up, right? No, I guess not. I just, like, can I please, like, just hold the trigger? Because there's, um... Dear lord. <laughs> I just want to hold the trigger, man. Try me, boyo. Thanks. I really needed you to do that. Now we dash. What? Okay, there we go. In the air! and <laughs> In the air, too. We're dashing, boyos. I just kind of wish that you could actually, like, um... Oh? That was not something that I knew would happen. A little wacky, I must say. Oh well. For gaming. I just kind of wish that they weren't throwing so much particles at us that the game didn't know what it was doing. That would be a bit more... I would be a bit more appreciative if that weren't happening. But, you know, whatever. It's the element of winds, my fellas. Magic bag of winds. Oh, that's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail idea. Thank you, my idiot self, for thinking of something stupid enough to put in a thumbnail. For Ori of all games. I'd say that this is a relatively serious game. We're talking about the fate of the world here. The fate of Nabel, I guess. The world comes later. Screw the world. Screw my country. I want to live. Now I just hug this wall, I guess. I could absolutely put Kent Mansley in the freaking thumbnail. What? <sighs> you see what I'm saying, though? I guess I should just, like, be extra cautious, but how was I supposed to know that was gonna kill me? It was an instant, too. Dude, I got freaking smooshed. Not fun. Oh, well. I should really start dashing in the air more. I might be able to make... No, it's not worth it. I want to say that they're laser beams, not really laser beams. Are they water beams? I don't want to think too hard about it, because I know I'm not going to come up with an answer that's adequate. I want to say they're energy, but it's the element of winds. Like, why would it be water? But it looks pretty watery, and I mean, it's a snowy area. But I have no reason to believe that there would be, like, snowy passes that are just kind of, you know, shooting, jettisoning themselves outward in a violent fashion. Come on, fall. Here comes that. Now I go up again, and... I come back down again, I want to say. No. Yes. No, maybe so. Can I leave yet? Do I go back or something? Oh! That makes a bit more sense. Okay. Can I save the game yet? No, I can't. I have to do all this in one try. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, wonderful. Uh, bit, bit of tight spacing there. Good thing I can dash in the air. Oh, wonderful. Watch this. It's going to go upwards. Now it's going to come downwards. I'm going to have to dodge it. In this little crevasse. I might be able to make it up to the other one. Yep. Who told you what? I told you that. Oh, did I make it out? Seeing as the music changed, I'm going to assume yes. Does this mean I can save the game? No, it does not. Well, I know you're telling me to Soul Link game, but you're also telling me I can't, so... Kuro's Nest? Ooh, an egg! What's up, boyo? How you doodly doing? We're probably in the worst possible place to be. Hey, friend. Hmm. Lore moment, perhaps? Oh, wow. How nice. But there's only one egg. And those are three living owls. Wacky. How'd that happen? Weird dark area, too. Hmm. Doesn't quite look like Nivelle to me. 
Ooh, 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 baby owl chicks. Kind of walking around. Ooh, hey, hey, cool, that's what I was doing. Very nice, I bet it'll completely revitalize the area and have no detriment to any of the surrounding wildlife. Right? That's definitely why Kuro is extremely mad at me, because we just made her tricks like super healthy. Or not. Wacky. Not cool. Not very gamer. That is extremely ungamer. That is unpog. That is very sad. Dude. Not cool. I gotta say, that was pretty unpog of me. Or the tree, I guess. Print screen. Haha. <laughs> I think I print end instead of print screen, so that's not gonna be the thumbnail anyway. Dude, not gamer. <sighs> oh, hey, look! Everybody's favorite big old owl. Sup, pal? Hey, I'm not trying. I'm not here to. I'm not here to finish with the show I started or anything. Don't worry. Ah, <sighs> big laggy cutscene. Very nice. And back here I am. Back here? Here I am. Hello, Kuro. Oh, it's gonna be one of these, huh? You know what? I'm gonna save this for next game. On the next episode of Ori and the Blind Forest. We're playing hide-and-go-seek with an owl that has 360-degree vision and can turn their head all the way around, which is what I meant by 360-degree vision, but I realized that that was probably not an adequate enough description of how the owl can turn their head all the way around. So, this is going to be a fun time, huh? And right after I did all that, the Goomba ruins. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, or our light will cause you to perish. Yep. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.